So, hello guys and welcome here to a new video. And today we're going to talk about the Aquos airdrop which is going to be distributed in a few days. And also some other airdrops. If that sounds interesting, well, I suggest leave a like and subscribe. And maybe leave a comment down below what you think the Aquos airdrop will be worth. And without further ado, let's get started. So, the thing about Aquos, why it's important to have a look at it, even though if you will not be eligible to receive the airdrop itself is because again of the requirements. The requirements are always a big question when it comes to airdrops and a lot of people are watching these types of videos because they don't know what to do in an airdrop but let's say before an airdrop is happening and that's a good thing. Why um, I think they uh, delivered this page uh, with even a bit better explanation with even the tokens amount it's fairly good to see stuff like this because then you pretty much can already see a bit into the future regarding other airdrops uh, what the requirements most likely will be and you can see already that only if you would have been a community member and been in the discord for a while and maybe did some typing there you would already received around 20 million token as a pool obviously not yourself but as a pool regarding the next thing which is the bridge and traveler program um, more details uh, on this protocol uh, which not on this protocol but on this page if you really want to go ahead and read it uh, but pretty much that's also up to 20 million tokens so you can see pretty much if you only do stuff that you can do for free for example join the discord on the telegram be active on twitter or, or stuff like that for protocol that already plays a huge role and i think it's very important to uh, keep that in mind regarding future airdrops again we have then the early bridge user which is pretty much um, users used the bridge early which is july 18th of 2020 and then the liquidity providers which as most time they get rewarded the most because they bring the most value to the platform itself because if you bring in liquidity to bridge over well then you are helping the protocol itself out and doing it a favor by supplying your own liquidity and i think that's one reason why uh, we always said do them uh, the more you do the better it is because you can see only if you would have done a swap you would have already been eligible to join the 15 million pool um, but if you would have as, uh, as well provided some liquidity you could have joined the biggest pool as well which was the liquidity provider and the sad thing is you don't really know what other adults are going to do regarding the requirements and you don't know what the tokenomics will be for the adult most likely uh, they are going to reward users the same or in the same way but regarding other tokenomics and again that's there it, it's very important to have a look for example at the liquidity provider thing to know that providing liquidity is the most rewarding thing and we already saw that with a lot of airdrops that did happen optimism uh, uniswap one inch and so on the more liquidity you provided the better the adwoop would have been and now the thing is if you missed the adwoop no problem keep on watching because there's a lot of adwoops that will come um, hopefully this year if not maybe even next year uh, and there's one already which we have talked about uh, in another video and again i'm not going to talk about all the adwoops how you receive them in a video i'm just going to showcase you a bit uh, how it's been done and what's the difference between each other because for example Aquos is a bridge and ZK Sync is a network so we have again something which is a bit different again other requirements uh, regarding a network I would say than just bridging over and doing a swap for example I think the more you do on ZK swap the more you will be received uh, in Airbus but obviously if you want to know how to get the ZK Sync Airbus and all the other Airbus below we talked about every adwoop that is shown in the video already once um, so if you don't know how to receive them make sure to visit my channel look a bit at the videos and then you will find detailed 
guides on how to do it but i just wanted to go over again for maybe the new viewer on the channel who don't know which adverbs are on the way to see what is coming and then again we have layer zero which pretty much has confirmed that they are going to do an adverb there you need to have for example stargate uh, token staked and the best thing is doing a proposal uh, we did vote already on two proposals as you can see right there they ended uh, six days ago and i think it's very important if they got a DAO uh, to actively participate in it by doing votes and what so on because that was one thing which was not possible for aquos because again uh, they did not have a token yet and for example stargate stargate pretty much is the main player from layer zero or better say it's the let's say it's the child from layer zero because uh, stargate is powered basically by them and that means that stargate so far is their DAO token which is used in the stargate DAO, and that again is one thing that most likely is going to happen with the metamask airdrop again we talked about metamask i think tomorrow or yesterday I'll make sure to have a look at that <coughs> and then again for example dolphin labs which did already distribute an airdrop but it's on the uh, test net sadly and here we can actually see how much token we received and the thing is we will receive 10 percent at tge and 20 percent monthly the adverb size is around 900 uh, 9.8 million token and per ticket that you would have and the tickets are shown over here 520 you would receive around 39 tokens and that means you can easily do the calculation yourself because somewhat it's not uh, showing yet ah okay it is showing we can claim around 2000 uh, token right now and this is again just on the testnet but that's the thing if you can claim an airdrop on the testnet chances of an airdrop on the mainnet are very likely and that's one thing why i said try to get it even though those are test token you uh, pretty much can be certain that they will do a token on the mainnet because they already got plans on launching on the mainnet for starknet and again that's pretty much what you should be doing is minting token if they are available stake them and receive yourself some tickets the same thing goes for uh, all the other stuff that's pretty much shown in the video if you can mint something for free or even if you need to bridge over stuff which is not free uh, for example arbitrum uh, you still can do it and it's definitely well worth it to do it uh, simply because they don't have a token yet and the thing is if they don't have a token they're most likely going to use a token why because the token is pretty much uh, some money that the company company can use to build on top of their application and that's pretty much why they going to do so much airdrop in the future but yeah, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and until tomorrow. Bye bye.